In this video, I will be upgrading the storage and RAM in a ThinkPad T480. The T480 has two RAM slots, but depending on your machine's configuration, one or both might be occupied. When purchasing upgrades, get DDR4 modules running at 2400 MHz. If the modules differ in clock speed or latency, the slower values are used for both modules. You can upgrade storage from a hard drive to an SSD, or upgrade to a larger M.2 NVMe storage. However, note that upgrading from a 2.5 to an M.2 form factor, or vice versa, requires the purchase of a separate caddy. The caddy is about $20 to $30, and links are in the description below. Before you start any upgrade, you should disable the internal battery, and you must remove the backplate from the laptop. To disable the internal battery, Enter the setup menu by pressing enter when you see the Lenovo logo. Under the config tab, select the power submenu and select disable built-in battery. When you do this, the laptop will shut off. The next step is removing the back plate from the laptop. Okay, so the first thing I did was I went into the BIOS and I disabled the internal battery. So we want to, to do that to make sure that there's no uh, worry of, of the computer accidentally turning on or uh, shorting it or anything like that. Uh, next thing I'm going to remove the external battery. Now I'm wearing gloves, you don't need to um, do, do that. I just do that because sometimes my hands get a little oily and I don't want uh, fingerprints on, on any of the hardware, but you don't need these, uh, these gloves. So I'm going to remove the, the battery here and you do that by unlocking these, uh, these two sliders and pushing the battery out. So we can take this and move it off to the side. And now what we want to do is we want to remove the, the screws. There are six screws, so we're going to remove them out of the RAM. Okay. There we go. After much finagling around the uh, the perimeter, I've been able to get the cover loose. In fact, the the screws will typically remain within the um, uh, the cover, so you can just move this aside. So what we have here is the Wi-Fi card, and then the wireless uh, modem in case that was an option. We have the hard drive here that we'll be replacing. We have the CPU uh, fan here, the CPU over there. Here's where the the, the GPU would be installed if it were an, uh, if it were an option. Here is the existing memory that's installed and here is the empty one. So let's get right down to it. Here we have the new memory module.
Now it's going to be just like this one. It fits right in there, except on the other side. And it's asymmetrical, so it's only going to fit in one way. And in fact, it will fit in this way. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to slide it in at about a 15 degree angle. Nudge it in there. And so it's going to be sticking up at, at an, uh, an angle slightly, and then we're just going to push it down gently until it snaps into place like that. So it's snug. I'm going to cover that, and basically we've just installed the, the, uh, the RAM. And so now I have an SSD that I'm going to replace in here. I have a hard drive here. Uh, and the nice thing about this is that the hard drive was the least expensive option. I'm going to replace that with a um, two and a half inch SSD. Uh, what I could have done is uh, use a, an M.2 NVMe SSD. The only difference is that would require a different bracket that needs to be purchased separately. If it came with an M.2 SSD initially, I would not have been able to, to install this. Uh, I would need a different bracket for two and a half if I wanted to do that. Okay. So there is the data cable here and there's a, a latch that just needs to be pivoted up. So there's a latch that just needs to be pivoted up and it acts as a little handle that I can use to pull out the, the, the cable. Okay, so there should have been, actually I think this is in upside down because there should have been a tag on the other side here. So I'm taking the, the hard drive out. Taped. 
gently pull off the bracket. Now this side is taped, so I'm going to take the tape off of that end. There we go. I'm going to put this back that way I'm going to put it back this way the way it should have been with the tag actually on the upper side and in order to do that I'll want things or, uh, oriented that way so that the connector is accessible now basically there's some tabs here. I don't know if you can see it. Tabs here that just fit into the, the screw holes. So it just snaps in like that. fit snugly in there. I need to take the interface cable off of the existing drive and transfer that. I want to make sure that I do that carefully. There we go. We can put that aside. Okay. I'm going to nudge this back in. It's all snug. Concerned that it's a little bit too raised on one end. Okay, that seems to be snug. I'm going to slide the interface cable back in. And then lock down the retention clip that also acts as a, a little handle. And that should be it. We've now upgraded the, the hard drive and we now have two sticks of memory, one there, one there. Mm -hmm. 
and so now I'm going to put the, the case back on, pretty much the reverse operations I did before, uh, put the screws back in, and uh, test the, the memory, and then test the, um, the, the SSD to make sure the, the computer boots. Um, what I might want to do is uh, just put the, the, the case on temporarily, don't screw it down, do the tests, uh, and then uh, screw everything back into, uh, into place once I'm sure that uh, everything is, is, is working perfectly. Okay, so I hope this helped. I hope this, uh, this video helps you in, in your uh, upgrade endeavor. Good luck.